I'm Angela Martin and welcome to this quick cast. Now on the previous episode, we looked at the multitasking features of iOS 11. Now in this episode, we'll be looking at the drag and drop options available to us within iOS 11. Now the drag and drop feature was available in the previous iOS versions as well. However, they were only limited to a number of apps like our Keynote app where we can tap and drag from one position to the next. Now the same we could do with our Pages app as well, where we could take the documents and drag it from one position to the next. Now a common place we would use the drag and drop was to create a folder of apps where we could tap on my Homes app, putting it into edit mode, dragging it into settings, which will then create a folder of those two apps. But now in iOS 11, I have the ability to select multiple objects and drag them into a location on my device. So in my case, I want to take more apps and drag it into that folder. So I'll take my calendars app, drag it and select the app store app as well as my iBooks. And here I've got those three apps and I can drag it into my folder. Now the same action I can do to drag those apps out of that folder by just going into the folder, tap and drag any of the apps and I can then select the other apps by tapping on them and drag it out of the folder. And there I've got those apps back into my home screen. Now, not only can I select multiple objects or in my case with the home screen, the apps, I can also drag content from one app into a different app on my device. So if I should use a quick example by going into my notes app, and within my notes app, I'm going to take a word out of a note. Let me go with this virtual online training note. And I'll take the word virtual online training and I drag it into my Safari browser to do a Google search on that word. So now I will, to select the word, I will double tap on any of the words and I'll just take the right hand handle to drag it out to select the entire word. I'll tap and hold on that word. Now I can drag it around. Now, if you have watched the previous episode about the multitasking, you would know that we have now the ability to select our or to access our dock from a, another app. So while in the notes app, I'll just swipe from the bottom up to get into my dock. I can then drag this word on my Safari browser in my dock. And when I'm in my browser, I can see a little plus appears on the text which means I can then just drop it and it will automatically do a Google search on that word. So the reason why it auto filled it in my navigations bar is because that's the only place where text can be inserted at this point in my Safari browser. Now that we have now done a Google search on that word by just dragging it across, we can see that we can take different pieces of content over from one app to the other. However, content that must be dragged across to the other app must be supported for it to accept the content coming across. So in other words, if I should take a movie or a photo coming from my photos app, and here I can see there's a little movie that I can take by just tapping and holding and dragging it across. This time around, I'll use my app switcher to get to my other app and I will double tap on my home button or four fingers up on my screen which will then take me into App Switcher. And I want to be in my Notes app. So I'll hold on my Notes app. And I want to drag this little movie clip into my iOS 11 new features for iPad note. And I can then drag it across. And here, once again, I can see the plus appear on my movie that I'm dragging in. And I can drag it into the bottom of my note. And if I release, it drops it in. And here I can see this is my movie club and I can start playing it by just tapping on the play button. However, if we should take that same movie club and drag it across into my Safari browser, we will get a totally different result. So if I should go back into my photos app, tap hold, drag it out. Again, I will use my app switcher, double tap on my home button and I'll drag it this time into my Safari browser. Yeah, I can see the plus doesn't appear on that movie clip that I'm dragging across. And the reason for that is, is that there's no placeholder to accept this movie 
into my browser. So if we had a placeholder, we could easily just drag it into it and it, it would have showed the plus. But in this case, it won't do it. So if I should release my finger, I'll see that that little piece of content or that movie just disappeared. So be aware that when we're dragging and dropping information from one app to the other, then it must be supported on the destination app, which we are dragging it to. So that is some of the drag and drop features within iOS 11. As more apps are updated or released within iOS 11, we will see that it will accommodate more of the drag and drop functions within those apps. So I hope that you enjoyed this episode with me, Angela Martin. And as always, hope you have a fantastic day and goodbye. Oh, 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 oh,